Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Kopta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. During this presentation I will share with you various validation methods available in RNSP Designer. To begin with, let's look at an existing application we basically have been working on the CRM tool. As we are interacting with the users uh, through add and edit pages, we would like to make sure that the users are entering the right amount of information or right type of information. If they enter wrong information and we do not uh, stop them from entering the uh, wrong information, then our analysis will be wrong. So RNSpeed, uh, in a very simple mode, offers three types of validation. The very first validation is whether fields are required or not. Second type of validation is what are the field types. And the third type of validation is any type of custom validation you wish to do. As far as the very first validation, which is required or not required, it is initially dependent on the database design. If the fields are marked as required in the data model, then RNSP automatically marks those fields on various forms as required. Of course, you would like to alter in case your data model changes or you would like to create an exception in your, uh, in your uh, user interface pages so that you can make changes to what RNSP automatically generated. In order to do that, the best thing we can do is go back to each field. Say, for example, in this particular case, we have an account type ID. Uh, by default, every single field has a properties uh, area where if you notice under the required tab or, or in the required property, we have true or false. This required property will dictate whether RNSpeed uh, will make this field as required before the form can be submitted or not. So this basically handles your first type of validations. Of course, uh, based on your or your, based on your use case, you can automatically toggle them to false, but if the user interface is not capturing information which is going to be required at the end at the database layer. The system will give you an error message because when the when RNSP designer will go into generate or going to insert the data into your database, then the SQL database or the Oracle database or the Access database will really complain and you will see the error bubble up. The second type of validation is what type of data can go in. In that particular case, if you go back to the database tab here, pick whichever field you want so if it's created on or created by date so you have a validation type under validation type you have different different mechanisms since the field is defined as date time or an integer system is automatically saying uh, well these are the only three different validation types I can think on of course it's defined as created on which is probably like a date time that's why system is displaying only uh, limited choices if I pick another text box which is like an NVARCAR field in database you may see a lot more choices. As you can see, we have many different validation types, whether it's country, credit card number, currency, date, email address, and so on. So selecting the right validation type also allows us to force that the data entered by the user meets a certain standard. The third type of validation type is where we can go in and uh, we would like to write some formulas. So in this case, if example, when somebody is writing a social security number, we would like to say, if the social security number is not nine digits, please stop. And that type of custom validation is very straightforward. All you have to do is click on validate when saving record in formula tab and system will basically give you uh, like as one of the sample examples. Here we have just altered the sample example to show you all we are saying is if the length of the social security number dot text field is not equal to nine because it's nine digits then please prompt a message social security number must be nine digits else do not prompt any message which will tell RN speed everything is okay keep moving so if I basically just work with this of course uh, I will be quick in giving you some demonstration as uh, if I basically go now in and try to just refresh this page of course system will ask us to log in back into the system I'm going to log in now if I don't enter anything and just press the save button boom right away all the fields which were marked as required came up this is a client-side validation and system is trying to show you the red asterisk by saying these fields are required please enter them so let's go in and enter them John Doe or John Smith what type of account it is what social security number let's just type in one two three four and owner is owner created by is populated now in the date field let's say for example we enter some invalid characters and www.google.com
So we have, we have actually basically just seen a demonstration of what if the fields were missing. Then we saw the error message. Now in this case, we have an invalid field as well as a custom validation which should fail. So if I try to click on save, system is saying the custom validation is failing because social security number must be nine digits. So let's go in and enter the nine digits. Now we know that this date is invalid. Let's just make sure because we don't want system to zoom anything. So it's 430 BBAA. So if I click on now save, I'm getting a message, an invalid value for next contact date was entered. This is due to the fact that the validation type on this particular field in your database is defined as a date. So as you can see, we just shared with you how RNSpeed provides three very simple but effective ways to control the integrity of your data, whether the data is required, whether the data meets certain validation type, and any custom validation that you wish to do. I hope it was straightforward for you to see how easy it is to validate field values in RNSP Designer. Thanks for watching.